Okay, folks, we are live via Periscope here for the Dallas Patriots against the Dallas Tigers at Hebron Field. First pitch, Ty Manning gets hit by a pitch. I know that's shocking to all you Tiger fans. That'll bring up Chaz Peterson. Top of the first, no out, one on. And he's hit by a pitch, first pitch also. Two pitches, we're in business, first and second. Nobody out. Cole Solomon will be coming to the plate. First two batters both right-handed. Ball ran in on him pretty hard. Cole batting from the left hand side. Switch hitter. Good lead by Manning out there. And a ball tailing away into the right-handed batter's box again. Ball one. Similarly, in the right-handed batter's box, ball two. This one comes in, and we have run the count 3-0 on Cole Solomon. Tigers looking to make an early start to this game. And that one's in for a strike. Good pitch on the inner half. Runs the count to 3-1. This one is stroke down the right field line into the corner. It's going to be extra bases. I think it's going to it's going to score two. It's going to play two, and Cole Solomon is oh, he's safe at third base, just under the tag. A good relay by the Patriots, but Cole Solomon makes it all the way to third and cashes in on the two early hits batsmen. Legged it out for a triple, a beautiful line drive into the corner on a 3-1 pitch. And that'll bring up Ryland King. Nobody out, two in for the Dallas Tigers here in the top of the first. This one's going to ground ball to the shortstop that's off the heel of his glove and into left field, scoring Cole Solomon for the RBI error. And now 3 nothing Tigers with a man on first. Nobody out here top of the first inning. Bringing up Jake Carter. A bunt attempt, just foul. Third baseman about even with the bag, but uh, certainly trying to get bunt for a hit right there. I don't think the sacrifice was on. Got Ryland King over at first base. On in the air by the shortstop. Hard hit ball. This one's wide. And evens the count. One ball and one strike. This one's fouled off over the left field screen. Pitcher now ahead of the count. One ball, two strikes. That one missing wide. Curveball, first one of those I think we've seen. Evens the count, two balls, two strikes. A 
And that one is off Jake Carter's ankle for the third hit batter of the inning. Putting runners at first and second. Still nobody out for the Tigers, and uh, the hot-hitting Connor Lynch comes to the plate. Connor's been spraying the ball, making solid contact throughout, and looks to do further damage here for the Tigers. The umbrellas are out as it's a steamy morning here at Hebron Field. We have our first we have a mound visit of sorts. The umpire talking with uh, the pitcher and catcher. Catcher went out for a visit. The umpire spent a lot of time on the mound and still is there talking with this pitcher. Obviously, none of those uh, hit batters were intentional. So, no con count on Connor Lynch. First pitch of the at bat. Runs a little inside. Ball's just kind of tailing that way on the righty for sure. And that one's in for a strike, evening the count, one ball, one strike. That's a ground ball to the left side to the shortstop who gathers it up and throws it wildly over the head of the first baseman. Going to score another run, Connor Lynch safe at first on the error, second error of the inning. And it is going to prompt a mound visit here. We're going to start to... We're going to have a gathering here at the mound. And the Tigers certainly in business. Top of one. Four runs plated. Runners at first and third, nobody out. Umpire going out to break it up here at the top of the mound. We've got Landon Longsworth now at the plate. Yes, it is. Uh, got some early run support for Double Deuce will be on the mound today. Hasn't had this kind of run support here of late, and I uh, know it'll be welcome. That ball is in the dirt and gets away from the catcher. No break on the ball for Carter, but uh, Connor Lynch easily stro strolls down to second. Pitcher really struggling here and not getting support behind him on uh, two would-be outs. And that's a ground ball to third. Carter streaks home. It is an, uh, the first out of the inning on a 5-3 put out. But plates the fifth run for the Dallas Tigers. That'll bring up Tate Trueblood, the big cat, Working with Connor Lynch at second. We've had one hit in the inning. A triple in the corner by Cole Solomon. Plating the first two roll runs and really getting the Tigers rolling. A big swing and a miss at a letter high fastball. And he drills it to left field, a beautiful shot down the left field line. It should plate the run and will do without a throw. It's a long single for the big cat, but stroke beautifully into the left corner for the second hit of the inning. And the sixth run for the Tigers. Still just one out in the inning. 
Brings up Pearson Monroe. And that's a fastball down the middle, foul back off the catcher's glove. Tate moving on the pitch. Aggressive base running with the six run lead here. Our viewers calling in, asking about that. Most of you probably saw it across the screen. I think you still go with the starter. He's warmed up and ready, but you might have a smaller pitch limit. He did pitch on Sunday, 40-something pitches. So uh, might just go one time through the lineup, depending on how this game goes here as they uh, prepare the week. A hit and run. Pearson does a good job to foul it off low and away. Brandon, in fact, back in the bullpen a little bit, just throwing some light tosses as this half inning has been extended. Way outside. I believe that evens the count of two balls and two strikes. One out, Tate Trueblood standing on first base, takes his lead. Has shown signs of moving. He's a curveball. It's blooped, and that's going to find some grass. Deep into right center. A beautiful hit. That's going to plate Tate Trueblood and easily to third base. We may send him. He's going to hold him there for a stand-up triple for Pearson Monroe. Ball really carried into deep right center. A nice shot for him. Tate Trueblood easily scoring from first base for the seventh run for the Dallas Tigers. Matt Natolo up, man on third, one out. Got a job to do here. Infield still back. And that's a ground ball, just foul. Picked up nicely by Cameron Bankston. Tossed back to the hill. One strikes the count. The ball low and in. That's a strike. Maybe a little bit uh, on the outside half, but uh, runs the count one and two. And that uh, is uh, the fourth hit batter of the inning. Another ball that ran away from the pitcher, just got away from him into the right-handed batter's box. And that'll bring up Ty Manning. As the Tigers have now batted around here in the top of the first. Umpire back out, just uh, having a chat again with the starting pitcher. Ty Manning, who was hit by the first pitch of the game, digs in now with runners in the corner, one out. And that one's fouled back to the screen. Fastball down the middle of the plate. Fastball, and that's lifted high in the air to the left field. He's drifting back. Looks like he's got a play on it and does deep. About a 320, 320-foot out there. Easily sacrifice fly, the eighth run for the Tigers. And now two outs. I 
brings up Chaz Peterson, who was hit for, on the second pitch of the game. Takes a ball outside. We got two outs here, top of the first, man on first base. Chaz Peterson at the plate. And that ball gets under the catcher. Natolo easily taken second and actually rounds the bag. Nobody holding Natolo on. Floats a strike in there. Looked like some kind of off speed. Part of the plate, though, taken by Chaz. And that one's fouled off. Two and two is the count. And a floater in there to retire the side. Twelve batters batted for the Tigers, scoring eight. There were three, there were four hits in the inning. Check that, there were three hits in the inning. Uh, the Tigers do play eight runs. We'll be back for the bottom of the first in just a moment. All right, the Tigers in the field. And Brandon Ernest is on the hill. We've got Pearson Monroe catching. Ryland King over at first base. Jacob Carter at second base. We've got a ball and a strike. we got Cole Solomon at third. Landon Longsworth at shortstop. Drops in a beautiful curve. Running the count one and two, a big hook there from 22. Drops down sidearm and just misses off the plate. Two and two is the count. Nice look there from Ernest. Misses high on a fastball. He's quickly back to the hill and ready. Full count here on the opening batter for the Patriots. And gets the strike out, took something off the fastball, maybe a two-seamer there. And gets the strike out. We got Chaz Peterson at shortstop, I said Landon Longsworth. We got Connor Lynch in right, Ty Manning holding down the center field position. And Tate Trueblood, I believe, in left field, the big cat. No, Matt Natolo in left field. Ernest. Looked like a wide curveball called by strike by Blue, working ahead now. It throws another one in that batter's box. Why not try it again? Ball and a strike there for 22. Who runs a fastball in, and he went. Check swing, went around. And runs the count one and two. Fastball ran in nicely on the right-hander who couldn't quite hold up his swing there. Big high curve that doesn't uh, do its job. Two and two the count. Fastball down the middle and a tapper. Going to be trouble just because it was so slowly hit. A nice play, but just a little bit wide. We're going to call that an infield single all day. Just wasn't hit hard enough to get to Chaz out there who came charging. Ernest was probably the only one that could have made the out there and uh, would have taken a bounce uh, pretty far to his right. He's let a few of those go, uh, and it's worked out well for him, not hitting things off the glove and out of his reach. But that was probably the only way to get the out in this case. Into the stretch now, and that one stroked into right center 
And that's going to be extra bases. A bad angle for Lynch. And uh, fielded by Manning. And a throw to the plate late. And the Patriots are on the board answering. A one-out double into the right center gap. It's a fastball really in the heart of the plate. All right, DQ, drop him in, buddy. Let's go. For Ernest. And uh, was not wasted. Got the cleanup hitter now up. Ernest trying to limit the damage here. Man on second, one out. Wants to change the signals. Calls Pearson out to the mound. Man on second base, a lot of times the uh, pitcher wants to make sure of those signals that are often changed from the simple one, two, three, four to some kind of code. That's a ball just out. Nice pitch to the leadoff. Kind of tailed away that way. This one misses badly in the right-handed batter's box. Again, tailing away. 2-0 the count. Missing here. Stake to an eight-run lead. you got to see throw strikes here would be the call. He's run this one 3-0. Pickoff attempt. Runner easily back, though diving. And misses on four, and not close on the three of the four. Going to ask for a new ball, get a little different feel in his hand. That one has visited the wall, so I, I like the call there. Another left-handed batter. See if 22 can make the adjustment here. We got two men on, one out here for the Tigers. Who uh, changes it up, does make a curveball in there for a strike. A nice uh, curveball in the outer half. Freezing 21 and getting ahead in the count. A nice fastball tailing away. Gets a swing and a miss. Ahead, well ahead now. 0-2 is the count. Pick off over to first and he's got him. A beautiful move there and a great tag blocked off the base by Ryland King, and that's the second out of the inning. Well executed pickoff right there. We've seen it a lot in Tiger baseball, willing to pick off at any base at any time. Throws a beautiful hook, spoiled by 21. Wasn't going to hit that solid, but did spoil the pitch. Still well ahead. Purpose pitch. Pearson sets away and Ernest hits the glove, but it's wide for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Fastball right down the low part of the zone. Fouled off again. Might see Ernest drop down here. One ball, two strike. No, brings it up top. Curve ball just misses inside. A really good pitch there, just missing the zone. Running the count even at two balls and two strikes.
Fastball away. Again, tailing, much like the Patriots pitcher. And now full count. It's a good battle for 21 here, Aiken. And that one's a fastball, outer half of the plate, good location, fouled off over the screen. This will be the ninth pitch of the at-bat. And a beautiful called strike three. Excellent pitch right on the outer half. Disagreed with by 21, but... Wake up, Eve! Not only objective, uh, as objective as I could be, thought it was a beautiful pitch right there. Great location. And that's it for the first uh, Patriot score. One run on two hits. There was one man left, and we'll be back for the top of the second in just a moment. Welcome back to the top of the second. Welcome back for the top of the second. We've got Cole Solomon at the plate, taking ball one. New pitcher on the mound for the Patriots, number 15. And that one misses, not sure where, but uh, must be just high. That one floats away. 3-0 is the count on Solomon, who tripled his first time up. Two RBI triple to start the Tiger runs. That's a curveball, nice pitch on the inside part of the plate for strike one. Three and one's the count. Took something off that, pulled the string as you will, and uh, running the count full, three, two. This is at a Hebron High School. Patri Patriots, uh, we got a no pitch call. Not sure what uh, was set. The count was full. Umpire had come out of his crouch calling no pitch early on in that one. Pitch came in. Cole drilled it up the middle. And we have ball four. Cole taking the base here. Putting a runner on, nobody out here in the top of the second. Bringing up Rylan King, who got on via the error, an RBI error, a hard hit ball the shortstop couldn't handle. This ball floated over his head for ball one. This ball hit Ryland King. Not much on it, but uh, hit him in an awkward spot. He's kind of holding his arm, kind of funny. Tough kid, so uh, you know it was a bad location. Hey, let's roll it here, guys. That's the fifth Tiger that's been hit today, and uh, obviously a team that will take the base. Take the baseball and the base. Very disciplined at the plate. And uh, umpire is going to give Ryland King a little bit more as he stretches out the uh, right hand. He gives the thumbs up to the umpire, but uh, still gripping his hand for sure. Probably got him right on the funny bone would be my guess. Not funny, but uh, that's what they call it. First and second, nobody out here in the top of the second. Way outside. Jacob had squared the bunt. Pulled it back. Ball one. Third base even with the bag. Ball two, well outside. Time's been called. Ryland King going to come out to stretch that hand out of that arm out. Still giving him trouble. Austin Sanford, the speedster, 
down there at first base. Jacob Carter strokes it solidly into left center. Uh, Cole Solomon rightly holding his position. It looked like it might be caught, so did not get a great break, and that'll load the bases rather than plating him. There's no rain, but uh, there is a beat down of sun. You see the umbrella in the foreground here. And uh, there is some cloud cover. It looks like it could rain, but uh, no rain yet. We got the hot hitting Connor Lynch at the plate. Taking a ball up. Tigers right back in business here in the second. We have a strike evening the count. We got bases full of Tigers. Nobody out here top of the second uh, ahead. Eight to one. That one is shallow center field and is going to fall in for a little looper. The plate, it's going to come to the plate. Cole Solomon easily. All Tigers advance on the single. RBI single for Connor Lynch, making a 9-1. to one. And the Patriot struggles uh, continue. Center field there didn't quite get the break that uh, needed to get that. Landon Longsworth at the plate. Floated just inside for ball one. That's a curve that uh, high in the zone. Landon aggressive swing fouled off the label of the bat. Yes, we love you too. A lot of followers out there. Appreciate that. Lots of hearts. We love that. <laughs> Two ones account. That one's floated behind Landon for ball three. Again, not flinching there. Just uh, held his position. It just missed him behind him. And that'll walk a run in. Five pitch walk. Bringing out the big cat, Tate Trueblood, who singled hard down the left field line in the first. Coming up with the bases loaded, nobody out here in the second. We love us some Dallas Tigers there, somebody. Tate digs in, gets a fastball, and hits a big hopper to the shortstop, who goes to second for one out. RBI ground out. That'll get a job done. Nicely done on the first pitch. Puts runners on the corner, one out. Tigers up now 11 to 1, top of the second. That's a little curveball comes in. Not much curve on it, but change of speed. And that will get ahead in the count. Oh, no balls and one strike. Floats another one in, now up 0-2. Pearson, who hit a stand-up triple in the first into deep right center. A ball that honestly fooled me. I thought it was a little bit more of a bloop, but really carried well out close to the 350 sign. We've got a strikeout and a throw em out Tate moving on the pitch. Strike him out, throw him out for the Tigers and uh, for the Patriots, and that'll end the top of the second. Tigers do plate three more and now lead 11 to 1. Back for the bottom of the second in just a moment. And we're back. 
We're back live for the bottom of the second inning. Defensive uh, adjustment. Uh, Cole Solomon moves over to first base for Island King. Still nursing uh, the left arm a little bit. And uh, we, that puts Matt Natola at third base. And the big cat now roaming left field. Ernest working uh, quickly ahead now in the count. No balls and two strikes. On the leadoff batter, the now pitcher, number 15. <laughs> Big curveball, overhand curveball, missing high. Didn't quite hold on that one long enough. That one's going to get the job done. A called strike three. A beautiful curve, hammer, right over the inner half of the plate. Froze the batter. And his third strikeout of the game here in the bottom of the second. Starts him off with another beautiful curve ball, freezing the batter right down the middle for strike one. Changes the look, drops down, runs a fastball in on him. Runs the count one and one. Back to the curveball, batter ducking out, just missing inside. Two balls and a strike, really has him off balance here at the plate. Runs a fastball in now, nice combination of pitches. And the count, evening the count, two balls and two strikes. A swing and a miss on a curve away. Beautiful uh, combination of pitches there for his fourth strike out of the game. De Leon up now with two outs. Nobody on here in the bottom of the second. He goes to the fastball, missing just high. That one just a little high as well. 2-0 on the count, two fastballs. Drops a curve in for the strike. Really seems to have good command of that pitch today. Runs a fastball in on him again. And uh, that'll even the count at two balls and two strikes. Another curveball barely hit off the cap. And uh, just weakly foul. Count remains two balls and two strikes. Ernest comes from the side, a little pop-up that he easily flares down the third line. Changed up the look, and that'll retire the side. That's the kind of inning with the Tigers we're looking for. And uh, through two full, it's uh, Tigers 11, Patriots 1. Okay, a little... Uh, Late on the comeback, the uh, count is actually 0-2. And that one's drilled, a big hop over the shortstop. Let the ball play him just a little bit, and Natolo's on. Not sure how Glenn Solomon may uh, rule that, waiting on the official score there. Ball that should have been played or could have been played, but it did take a little bit of a funny hop. Again, the leadoff man on for the Tigers. Ty Manning takes the ball. Third time through the lineup, we're in the top of the third.
Once again, getting hit by a pitch. Ty taking it uh, somewhere off the back region, shoulder. Holding his ground, as many of the Tigers do, but nobody better than Ty Manning at that. Finds himself again at first base. For the third consecutive inning, the first two guys for the Tigers are on base with nobody out. Chaz Peterson at the plate. Floats a ball in. It is a fly ball to center field. It's going to be gloved. And that'll be the first out of the inning. A little lazy fly ball out to center field. A little off the end of the bat there for Chaz. A little bit out in front of it. We'll bring up Cole Solomon. Who's tripled and walked in his two plate appearances. Curveball in there for a strike. Nice pitch over the outer half of the plate. A good take as well by Cole, who will look something more he can drive. And there it was, right down the middle, but missed by Solomon. Now behind in the count. 0-2, oh uh, inside move of sorts. Chasing Natolo back to second base. That ball runs away. One ball and two strikes. That one stroked into left field. Left fielder looks like he's going to have a play and does. Another lazy fly ball there for the Tigers, and uh, there's two outs, two men on. Good to see Ryland King coming back to the plate. Took one look like off the funny bone last inning. Pulled himself out defensively. Cameron making sure they have him re-entering the lineup here. Called strike, probably well out, probably good enough that he didn't get a bat on that as uh, he was fully extended without uh, much power behind it. Floated down the middle and off the fists as Ryland is really reaching out over the plate and that'll run the count, no balls and two strikes. Calling for a high one and missing badly low. We got two men on, counts one, two to Ryland King here in the top of the third. Dust off of the plate. And missing uh, high on, looked like a curveball that didn't have any bite on it. That one's behind Ryland King, who this time ducks a little bit and uh, moves the runners up to third, second and third. Keeps the bat in his hand. Hello to you out there, new viewer. Not sure where you're viewing in from, but welcome. We're at Hebron High School here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Dallas Patriots facing the Dallas Tigers. That one's hit off the fist out towards second base, who on a knee grabs it and throws to second, throws to first for the out, and that'll retire the side here in the top of the third. Tigers still lead 11 to 1. That's one pitch, one out for the Tigers here. Uh, Brandon started him off with a fastball in the inner half. Pulled down the line. Easily gloved by first baseman Cole Solomon. Hadn't seen Cole over at first base. 
uh, before, but a uh, new position for him out uh, for the injured Ryland King. So that's one pitch, one out for 22 on for his third inning of work. And there's a swinging strike, a fastball right down the middle. A curveball in there for a strike. Really can't get a handle on that curve. Really uh, moving a lot today and finding the strike zone. And called strike three, his fifth strike out of the game. Beautiful fastball in the outer half of the plate. Really uh, has done a nice job mixing up his pitches here. Stake to the early lead. Two outs, bottom of the third. Drops down, runs one in for ball one. Goes back to the curveball in there for a strike. Hitter's starting to complain a little bit, but uh, looks like it's cutting, catching a lot of the zone. Fastball just in, a really, really nice placement. He's been doing that, throws the curve for a strike and then runs a fastball in on the hands a little bit. This one did not get offered at. A fastball tap weakly back to the mound. Ernest is on it and easily over to first for the third out. Another great curveball by Double Deuce. That retires the side here. About seven or eight pitches is all, and that's what you want to see out of the uh, starting pitcher there. Stake to an 11-1 lead. We'll be back to the top of the fourth in just a minute. That's ball one to start out the top of the fourth inning to Jacob Carter. And that ball just missing just a little bit outside for ball two. And that one's in there for a strike. Comes back on him. Started out of the zone, but uh, worked its way back in on the left-hander. Nice pitch. That one floats away. Started maybe in the zone, but floated away. Some kind of cutting action from the pitcher today. Three and one's the count. And that one's in the dirt for leadoff walk. And that brings up Connor Lynch, who uh, found a Texas leaguer last time up. Talked about him being one of the hotter hitters for the Tigers. And he drills it right into center field, a beautiful stroke, solid single. And for the fourth inning of the game, the Tigers have the leadoff runners on with nobody out. First and second, nobody out. That may be the end of uh, Ernest on the mound. Uh, he is coming to bat here, number 22. And that one's grounded in the worst place possible down to the third base. And uh, pull the train down to there to first base for the 5-3 double play for the Patriots. Well executed defensively. First pitch swinging way ahead of it. Just a weak grounder, quite honestly, to the third baseman. He did pull the train too, Kevin, down the first baseline. Looked a little sluggish. Didn't have the wheels of number one. That'll bring up Tate Trueblood. The big cat. Man on second. Two outs now in the inning.
Also first pitch swinging and stinging a uh, ball into left field. Going to test the play at the plate, and it's there in plenty of time. A nice throw by the left fielder, and that will retire the side. Very aggressive down there by Cameron Bankston. Made him execute, and the Patriots did, coming up with a beautiful defensive play. No runs on a couple of hits for the Tigers here in the top of the fourth, and we're going to have Brenton McMahon on the mound for the bottom of the fourth inning. We'll be back in a moment. All right, there we are, the Patriots up in the bottom of the fourth defensively. Got a change in the battery. B-Mac to the mound, and the big cat, Tate Trueblood, behind the dish. Puts Pearson and Monroe in left. Still have Ty Manning in center, Connor Lynch in right. Around the infield, Matt Natolo at third. Chaz Peterson at short, Jacob Carter at second base who is getting a ground ball, backs up on it a half step and throws him out to Cole Solomon covering first base. And one up, one down for BMAC at the hill. Good hustle by Tate Trueblood, backing up the throw there. Showing all the skills. The big cat. Pretty sure he's touched all the positions for the Tigers this season alone. <laughs> he was your starting pitcher yesterday with notched another win. That ball, a curveball just missing. BMAC with a big smile on his face out there at the hill. And missing now wide. 2 0 is the count. Floating a curveball again inside. 3 1. And a four pitch walk, and that one goes to the screen. Not taking any chances. Uh, True Blood hustles back to the screen. And that'll put one man on, a four pitch walk there. I believe this is the three-hole hitter. And that's a wide throw on a pickoff attempt. Error on BMAC. He's going to try third base. Cole Solomon with a long throw. It's there in time and called out. Oh, my gosh. Called out at third base. The uh, fans not in agreement. Neither is this announcer. Looked like the ball was there in time, but it was wide of the bag. The tag had to be brought around. Inexplicable. Inexplicable sometimes. Two outs now in the inning. BMAC floats one into the batter's box for ball one. the kind of day it's been for the Patriots. It's something good happened for them. Looked like they were going to have a runner all the way on third with one out. Gets called out. Ball and a strike now. Took something off a change up. Gets the call on the outside part of the plate. Ahead in the count, one and two. Floats a curve just wide. Tate drops the third strike, but easily throws it over to Cole Solomon to retire the side. And that's it in the fourth. And the ball game. Uh, your Tigers have run ruled the Patriots 11 to 1 through 4. Thanks for watching. You'll have Brian Trueblood for the three afternoon game via the podcast. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you then.
Tigers now 2-0 in the Diamond King World Series.